Project Ovis is the transformation of a thousand acre Northern California mountain vineyard into a beyond sustainable, beyond organic farming system. That's it. I'm not saying here's the recipe, how to do it. I'm just saying we're gonna start a project. Climate change is gonna reduce our yields. We have terrible winds these days. That wind has been giving us grief for five years, but it's just gotten warmer. It's just gotten warmer, it's gotten drier, less rain, and it is not a good sign. And I don't think this is gonna be easy. I think we're gonna fail a lot. I think there's gonna be a lot of experimentation, but that's the project. It's gonna be an evolution, trying to create a closed system to minimize the use of fossil fuel-based fertilizers and utilize the things we naturally produce on the ranch, whether it's a pine cone or a, a sheep or wool, to battle the, the bad guys and the bad bugs and create a balance in nature to make wine. I love running the sheep in the vineyards and we, we're doing you know intense grazing in the vineyard. They're eating the grass, they're pooping out all this good microbe that comes in their manure. The worms are just up there feeding the organic matter on the soil surface. They're grabbing the pieces of carbon, pooping it out all the way down to three and four foot deep. That is to me life, that's, that's life right there. I think if we don't have worms, we're not gonna have much life left. Stopping the herbicide had a huge impact on this mouth. Just that, just that one thing. When we stopped using herbicides and started looking at what's underneath the soil, the earthworms went crazy. In the last couple of years, we've cut our water usage in half. We're gonna deal with a little lower crop load and we're not gonna cultivate. That's gonna ultimately get us climate closer back to balance like it used to be. We are maintaining and diversifying our cover crop. We're adding more legumes, more flowering cover crops out there to bring in beneficial insects. The legumes harvest the air we breathe, which is mostly nitrogen. They're gonna put it into their root systems. And as those root systems decay, they're gonna release that to the worms and the vines. And then the system starts working well. One thing that you can't go by is like, calcium. Uh, it takes a truck full of gypsum out of Utah. And I'm like, wait a minute, how about the chicken? Has anybody ever really thought about what the chicken does? It harvests free stuff too. And I, that is my system to replace the truckloads of fertilizer coming up to the ranch years ago. Well, that's what sustainability is, okay? You got one animal over here fixing a problem, creating a byproduct that somebody could eat or compost to fix another problem. I want to grow a healthier product that's easier on the climate, easier on the world, something that's healthy, something people can trust. I think it's my mission. I, I want to make a difference. I want to make a freaking difference. You know, I want to I want to hopefully be known as somebody that took the risk to create a better life, to, to force some change to forge a better way. There's a better way to do this. We could make a lot more money and farm a hell of a lot cheaper farming conventionally in these mountains. I mean, we're thousands per acre cheaper. And I hope we don't have to do that. <laughs>